right, so today's lesson is using a protractor. So you can see at the top here we have um, two protractors. They look very similar, but you're going to be using one more similar to this one right here. Um, but you still need to be aware about this one. Um, some key things about protractors you need to know is that here is your center point for both of them. That little center point there is where you want to make sure the vertice goes um, in the angle to measure. The other part you need to make sure you use correctly is our numbers. You'll notice both protractors have numbers, two sets of numbers. This one we have a 0, 180, 10, 170, 20, 150, 160, 30, 150, and so on. And this one has the same thing. Okay? If your angle is pointing this way, all right, you're going to want to make sure you use your outside number. You want to go from 0 on up. So whatever the angle is going on the bottom here direction is, that's the zero you want to start counting from. Okay? If your angle, say, goes out this way, but still has this bottom line right here, you're still going to start from here and you're going to go all the way around, all the way over here to 130 something. Okay. So if your angle goes this way along the bottom there, and that's the zero you're going to start with. So in this case, you would start with the inside numbers this way. Um, it's very common to make a mistake to use the outside number or the inside number the wrong way, so you want to make sure you do that. The other way to make sure you're measuring correctly, too, is to think about what type of angle you're measuring, um, which we're going to talk about right now. Um, so the first one is acute angle. It's an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. So these are any angles that are within that zero all the way up to 90 degrees right here. Okay. So anything less than your 90 degrees. So they would look something like that. You can go the other way if you want. You can go, can be pointing down, can be pointing up. Okay, so any of those are acute angles, anything less than 90 degrees. All right, your second one is an obtuse angle. <clears throat> it's an angle measure that's more than 90 degrees. So in this case over here, we have our line at the bottom here, and then we have our other uh, ray going off of it. So we would have a 130 some degrees, so that's over 90 degrees. So that is our example of an obtuse. Again, they can be pointing any way you want, as long as it's over 180 degrees. That's the idea. Um, our third one is our right angle, an angle measuring exactly 90 degrees. Okay, and you can see on this protractor, in this case here, we have an exact 90 degrees, and we have a kind of a a partial square there. That whenever you see that partial square there, that represents a 90 degree angle. Again, they can be pointing in any direction you want. Hardest ones to see last time are the ones that are kind of angled there. But as long as they have that little mark, you know it's a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then your last one is your straight angle. Straight angle is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. So if we look at our protractors up here, if we have a line that just goes straight across, meaning we go from zero all the way over to 180. It's just a 180 degrees. So a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay, And again, that line can be pointed in any direction you want it to be. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to use the protractor to measure a few angles. All right, so my first one, number one here, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my protractor. I'm going to line it up directly. When I line it up, I want to make sure that that point is exactly in the middle there. And then I want to make sure that that line is going straight across on my zero degree line there. That's going to let me get the best measurement possible. So in this case, this angle right here looks like it measures out to be, comes out here to this point of 135 degrees. I'm sorry, not 135, 35 degrees. And it is a, so I'm going to put 35 degrees, and it's an acute angle. <clears throat> number two, notice how it's a straight line and even if I put it up there, notice how it goes all the way from zero all the way around to 180, so this is a straight angle with 180 degrees. Right, number three, now this one's a little interesting because when I put it up here, okay, notice how my line doesn't reach the angle. So I'd have to kind of guess. 
So in order for me not to guess, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to actually extend out one of these lines. It's going to let me get a truer <coughs> measurement than if I were not. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up, making sure it is exactly on there, and I'm being very careful. And it looks like it's just under 90 degrees, right about 89 degrees. So, so this one is an acute angle as well, very close to 90 degrees. <coughs> um, when you measure these, if you're a one degree off or so, I can accept that. Um, it's not going to be perfect. Um, they may have been looking to put an exact 90 degree angle here, but it looks like it's an 89 degree angle. So. All right, and then your last one. Again, when I put this up here, it does not go the entire way, so I'm going to extend my line off. Use the side of my protractor. It's going to help me get a more accurate measure. Let's move it back here. Notice how this one, because my um, my bottom line here, my bottom ray is going to the zero, I'm going to follow the zero all the way around. So I'm going to use my outside numbers. And it looks like it goes to about 98 degrees. And I know that an angle that's over 90 degrees is a obtuse angle. All right, so those are your angles. What I want you to go ahead and do now is you guys should have on the other sheet, you should have a U tri spot. So make sure you go ahead and pause it. Um, measure all of your angles with your protractor. If you need to extend out any lines, make sure you do that. And then you also have to make sure you name the angles as well. Are they straight, obtuse, right, or acute? So go ahead and pause your video and try those. Alright, so as far as what I got for answers, the first one was 180 degrees straight angle. Uh, number two is an acute angle, and then we got 68 degrees. Again, if you're a degree off or so, it's okay. Um, third one, got an obtuse angle of 134 degrees. You should have extended that one out to go ahead and get the measurement. Uh, number four, we got as a right angle, 90 degrees. Number five was an acute angle, got a 14 degrees. And number six was a, oop, I didn't even write that. Should have been a... Let's go ahead. It shouldn't even be 24 degrees. Let's go ahead and make sure we measure that out again. I think I may have been using the wrong numbers there. So I'm going to go ahead and travel from the inside here all the way around. And it looks like I should get about 152 degrees. There we go. Okay. All right. So there's your angle measurements.